Welcome back Flutter developers. Welcome to my channel about Flutter. In today's video, we will be seeing a code recipe to implement sliders and range, range slider widgets in Flutter. So in today's example, we will be implementing a guess the words level game. Or, or it could be a tool which is used by teachers in the beginning of a school year to classify their words in their word list to represent the different difficulty level of words to their students. So how this uh, particular sample code works is, or code recipe work is, so teacher or a user is present a, uh, uh, a word, in this case is it there, and then there are two sliders. One is to select the grade level, or for uh, appropriate level for the grade for this word, and the difficulty in that particular grade. So a word, for example, the there could be suitable from grade one to fifth. However, the difficulty level could be easy to medium to moderate, uh, to advanced. So in this case, uh, we can adjust the grade level and the difficulty level for a given word. And if we hit the submit button, you uh, user will be uh, shown a new word to rate the level for their word. So in action, it will be integrated in my recipe app. And uh, in here, like if you click on that link, and you'll see, uh, you can select the different levels and difficulty level for this word. And this is, as I said, it's in my Flutter widget um, sample app repo. Okay, so let's get started. So again, there is an article which goes in parallel with this particular video on and its source code is also there in the GitHub. Um, so as I said, we will be focusing on two widgets to implement this. One is slider widget and one is the range slider widget provided by Flutter ecosystem. And so what we'll be doing to recap, the goal of this code recipe is to display a random English word from a given sample word list in our example and using the range slider widget to represent the grades from zero, that is kindergarten or preschool, which is like less than first until the fifth grade. And the slider widget is used to represent the difficulty levels for that given word from easy one, moderate two, or advanced three. And submit button is to just to complete the flow of the app. So clicking on the submit button will give a user a new word. So this is the recipe, my code recipe app, uh, which is like a slide, there's a different code recipe as well. So I added a slider demo, uh, uh, new recipe here. And if you click on that, you will be taken to this uh, flow. Okay, so now, First thing first, uh, displaying word for reading. So this is a hardwired list of words in my code. There I have about 10 words here, but you can do it from the, uh, you can retrieve from in the production, you can retrieve from the server, or you can cache depending on your use case. And as you see, the word which is selected, pre-selected by default is here, right here, there. And I'm using a very simple card uh, to re to show that word right here. So as you see in my app, it, this uh, like a tournament here, which is shown. Um, a, if, so it starts from the there, and a, for, from the there on, it will be changing when you submit, uh, click the submit button. Uh, I already uh, played this uh, like rated another words, so I see a different word right now here, which is actually coming from here. But card, so the card is actually re rendering my word in this little um, right up there. Okay, so now how we can, uh, what is a range slider widget in our case? So re range slider widget is where you can actually select the range of the uh, values given to us. So in here, the range is zero to fifth or five. But it, my word tournament might be appropriate for say grade third to fifth, so, and it could be difficulty level say moderate, or maybe easy, or maybe advanced for this grade range. And once you say submit, 
you will represent uh, you will present it a different word which is up in this case now up could be started from pre-k level or kindergarten level and it can go up to the fifth grade and it's a pretty simple word so in this case we can have it as difficulty level as one and so on every time you are presented a different word so there's a one thing like how we implement the range sliders so for the range sliders the first thing as you say there are five levels from zero to fifth so the grades range first you have to define and before I go ahead with that, uh, I want to mention again, this is a stateful widget because in the stateful widgets, uh, or you can change, you can track the change of state. In the stateless widget, you cannot. So make sure your widget uh, is the stateful widget and your code of changing the range goes in your state. Uh, like in this case, the slider demo state. Okay, so back to the grid range. So range in my case is... Uh, six zero to five i have five uh, actually total six values from zero to five and as you can see there are little divisions right here so this value we uh, so this is our range slider widget and you provide the zero as the minimum and the maximum is five and you see the divisions one two three four five for six values so you have to say five divisions and as you say, when I track it, you see this little label. So that value you uh, pass here in the uh, in in the range labels. So in you have to provide the start value of this label, which is this, and the end value, which is this the four in this case. And in the on on change method, the range value changes. So in this case, like so, range value will be one to four in this particular case so that's how we implement the slider uh, the range slider and the difficulty level uh, we are using slider which is very similar to the range slider uh, other than the one change you have a one value that you can select so in here this a diff level is using a value say in two by default and I'm using slider dot adaptive as you see. So you can use slider, but dot adaptive is used if you want to uh, want your slider widget to be adapted depending on the target platform is running on. So the value, the value of it, like in this case is one, is whatever the value of the diff level is. And as you can see, the diff level is changing, is being called or set in the set state so that the new values I right now it's say three can be passed to the diff level and right now it's three and as you say you see the min max and division attributes so this is the min is one and max is three and the division you see is two one two only so that's why the divisions are two and the labels are the value which is pre which is shown here in this case you see is two this one two and three so to show this little marker here, we use label. And that's pretty much it is in, in this code recipe. And again, the submit button, what it does is, it just picks a randomly selected word from my list and reset my diff le difficulty level and the range level to the beginning ones, to the default ones. So uh, just let me show you the code very quickly, which is actually uh, very similar to what I showed in my article. So this is my uh, my uh, Android Studio project, and it's the part of my other repo, uh, other code recipe repo, where you have another recipes as well. So I added a little slider uh, slider package, and this is slider demo right here. And you see the first thing is list of words that I showed, and the word which will uh, hold the lit, uh, newly selected value, and uh, you see this is this is stack of the um, I'm using the stack widget to load the all uh, to align all the widgets um, the pole positioned and in the positioned uh, using the container and in container is just a card is uh, so it's an inside the column so I'm not going in details of how this UI is built in this particular code recipe but just want to give you a little 
uh, feel of how this whole UI is structured. And the most important part is the card here, which is actually is this and is just in the white background right now. Okay, and the range slider is a very similar to what I just showed you. And grid is the starting range and uh, starting value of the range and the ending value of the range. And it's up being updated. And in the last one, uh, in the difficulty level, so using the adaptive. And so that's the only two things you need for this particular core cool recipe. And in submit button, uh, submit button actually changes the word. So that's why we are calling the word from set state so that it can update which word will be shown next. So that's pretty much to this particular code recipe about learning to use how to use sliders. Sliders is this and the range sliders. And I will see you in the next video. And please leave your suggestions, comments and feedback below this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Till then. Bye.